So good morning. I know my face is ashy, my lips is ashy. I just woke up. It is eight o'clock, somewhat like seven fifty-two or something. And uh, my class is gonna start in an hour. So uh, this is a day in the life of an athletic training student. yesterday and um it was a little bit of a struggle to put on my shirt this morning it just it it hurts so this is not a typical day my parents are both working from home say hi dad hi having breakfast ain't working <laughs> i do it hi mom hi see look at that they're so cute i don't usually get to see them in the morning to start 620 which is let's see y'all know I got a binder for each class I told you about that before 620 is healthcare administration class usually lasts from 9 o'clock until about 11 15 so I gotta log on so I can do this little zoom code thing and get started we are talking about what's today we're talking about information management and uh, we're also reading this book called The Five Dysfunctions of a Teen, which is actually really good. So you can pick it up and read it. I got it from Amazon for like $5. So let's get to class, y'all. Y'all, it is 11.31 a.m. and I just finished class, so now I'm about to go eat some lunch and get ready to go to Chronicles. Okay, it is 12.20 in the afternoon and I'm on my way to clinical. I will check in with y'all when I get there. It's usually not a long drive, so. The other day there was construction though, it got on my nerves, but anyway, I'll check in with y'all when I get there. Alright, so I'm here, it's 1.55, so like I said, there wasn't construction, but there was definitely an accident, so it calls me to be a little later than usual, try to get here at 12.45, but life. I'm just gonna walk and tell you guys a little bit about it. So my clinical site this semester is Mount St. Mary's University and I work with the basketball team. So for privacy reasons, I will not be able to take you in to rehab and stuff like that. But that's basically what I'm about to do for the next two or so hours and then basketball practice. But I'll check in with you before I go to basketball. Okay, so now I'm in the, well, I'm in the office, not the clinic, because you all can't see 
patience. But I'm going to introduce you to two of the certified athletic trainers that work here. That's it. Okay. All right. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Chris Bernardo. ATC LAC. Period. Period. <laughs> well, who do you work or I guess like what team do you work with? I work with the men's lacrosse team as well as the men's and women's tennis team here at the Mount. Okay. And then what made you decide to be an athletic trainer? Oh, I decided to be an athletic trainer due to my love of sports and my affinity for helping those in need. And athletic training was the perfect way to combine both of those wants. Period. Period. Great. All right. You don't have anything up on your computer? Okay, no. Cool. I'll go this way. All right. This is another certified i always like to highlight that athletic <laughs> trainer here so introduce yourself hi my name is annie um my full title is annie fagan ms atc period <laughs> um what else do you want to know um i work with baseball and i work with the men's and women's water polo teams um and i became an athletic trainer because i spent a lot of my childhood doing gymnastics and swimming and getting injured and so I spent a lot of time in a PT clinic and um, I really like to help people and watch people succeed. Good. So. Yeah, so just say who you are. Hi, I'm Yamamoto Kazuhiro. I'm an athletic trainer from Mount St. Mary's University. I'm working in sports and rugby. Okay, so at the moment, people are at lunch, so it's not too busy in here and I can't get all the other athletic trainers, but there are other athletic trainers here. Um, there's actually one that I used to work with at Salisbury, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to get them. Everybody's busy, you know, different sports prices, at different times, etc. So I will probably check in with you all again before basketball practice. This is really the life of an athletic trainer. <laughs> Where is this from? Fratelli's. Oh. Hi, my name is Joe Franklin. I'm an athletic trainer at Mount St. Mary's. I work with the women's basketball team. And one reason why I like athletic training is because I have the ability to help a person who desperately wants to play a sport get back to their sport as fast as possible. After getting hurt, of course. Fire! Fire. <laughs> this is a true day in the life. <laughs> It on now. Hello, my name is Matt Deccan. I work with men's rugby and women's cheerleading. Um, I like athletic training because it's not your traditional office job. You get a little best of both worlds and I can enjoy the sports I enjoyed in high school and in college uh, every day at practice. My name is Connor Hollihan. Um, I'm an athletic trainer here at Mount St. Mary's. That's Matt. <laughs> we already saw him. He was fixing his hair. <laughs> uh, I chose to be an athletic trainer. Um, I enjoy studying the body, I think it's very interesting learning more about the body as I go with this profession. I like helping people, I'm a people person, I like sports, so it all kind of mushed together, um, and that's why I'm here today. Um, I know Sierra, because we both were at Salisbury University, I did a contingency position there, um, and she was in her first year, um, mm -hmm. as in the Masters and Athletic Training Program, uh, so we worked a little bit together there. Long hours doing physicals and right. things like that. Um, but yeah. And unfortunately, he likes the Steelers. But we're four gonna. What? <laughs> four and out. Okay, so you've met all of the athletic training staff except for two other athletic trainers, but they don't work in this building and I never see them. And then the head athletic trainer. But he's busy, so. So I apologize for not um, checking in with y'all before basketball practice. Got a little busy, but I'm home now. Basketball practice began at 3 o'clock. It ended at 6. I'm now home and it is 6.22 p.m. And that's pretty much the end of my day. About to shower, eat, and do that. All right, y'all. I just took a shower. Now it is time to eat something. And actually, it's Wednesday, so we have prayer tonight, prayer meeting, virtually. And then I will get on my home. Long days, y'all.
Yo, I'm really bad at this vlog thing, but um, I finished eating. I had two ham and turkey sandwiches and Cheetos. I don't usually do chips, but I didn't know what else to eat with them. And a bowl of rice on the side. So, it's homework time. And now I really don't know what else to do for this vlog. I don't see a point in having you sit next to me while I do my homework. Um, I'm also going to try to join my friend's Bible study at 9 o'clock. And y'all know, or I think y'all know, I think I've said it before, that I usually go to bed at 11 o'clock. So, not too much left. Um, thank you for joining me on this journey today. If you haven't already liked this video, go ahead and do that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. I don't understand why you wouldn't. And click the bell so you can turn your post notifications on and be notified every single time that I post a new video. If you watched to the end of this video, go ahead and comment certified because that's the goal. We only got a couple months left before I sit for that certification exam. I hope y'all are praying for me every day. I surely am praying for myself every day. Most importantly, One World, please go ahead and share this video. Share it with somebody who shaved their head. Share it before you go to bed. And share it with somebody who thinks that chivalry isn't dead. I don't care. Love you guys. Deuces.